There's the dealership. I better get off the exit so I don't miss miss my turn. Sometimes I get a little daisy and I miss my turn. So I picked up a Facebook Marketplace gem that's going to fit perfectly with another Facebook Marketplace gem that we bought. So I'll show you guys at the dealership. We do a lot of custom crazy builds. Today is not an exception. We're going to do probably one of the craziest builds we've ever done and with some of the biggest stuff we've ever used. Look at what we're all on in here with the old comments. I got a camper on a uh, on my big Texas gooseneck trailer and we're going to put this on a semi so we're gonna make a semi camper conversion crazy stuff here let's swing wide hopefully i don't hit the okay sometimes i hit the fed garrett where's garrett at spencer garrett. nice of you to come by yeah yeah go run out back grab that uh, freight liner the, the m2 freight liner with the sleeper all right i love how this camper looks i'm excited yes sir so there she is it's a fleetwood camper it's it's a really nice camper has the slide outs has uh it actually had a generator a cummins generator in it so that's perfect and it, it's clean it has an awning right here it just it's nice so what the story is uh, a camper got totaled and this came off of it this was fine but like it got hit in the front so this was salvageable and we're gonna put it on that semi right there there he is all right this is the plan garrett we're gonna take the freight liner well we're gonna take the camper and put it on the freight liner so you get the shop guys ready to go they're ready to go but this is definitely one of those things it's easier said than done well just give them a few extra red bulls they'll, they'll get it done in what last time they did a crazy mustang build it took them 30 minutes yeah hopefully they can do this one in 20 you All think right. i was thinking like two hours or something but yeah not too long and this is the it, it's the dual axle so it should be able to handle quite a bit of weight and that's the sleeper cab already on it and uh garrett let's pull this back in for him and they'll get to work all right i'll reverse it back well i think garrett's pulling it out it's been uh, it took him three hours there it is here's the big reveal hammer down okay the uh that's the tent actually turned out perfect i was a little questionable if we should if we should have a tent on it or whatever but Garrett, this looks sick. Oh, yeah. It turned out way better than I thought. They did have some struggles with cutting this top part because obviously we had a slightly taller oh, yeah. cab. Yeah, yeah I totally on. forgot about that. Yeah, so they kind of just merged the two. It turned out pretty good. There's a few rough edges, but those will all be worked on over time. Yeah, that's but clean. And then they actually kind of touched up the paint on the Fleetwood to kind of match the, the Freightliner a little better. Yes, exactly. So we kind of had like a more gray or dark gray going on, and they just put in some white tints, and it looks a lot better in my opinion. Yeah, that's clean. Then you can even hook up, uh, you can even hook up like, you know, a lot of people have like little smart cars or like Jeeps or just little cars, you know, tagging along behind. So you can have a tag along too. That's perfect. Well, hey man, with this Freightliner, this is a 6,000 pound hit and Dang. it can tow that too. So. All right. Well, yeah, Pretty that's, uh, yeah, we should have plenty of power and this is the ultimate semi conversion we've ever done. We've never done one, but Garrett, what do we, let's take it out on the open road and then let's go camping. Let's do it. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm driving. What are you driving, man? All right, I actually don't have mine here right now, but I'm going to head home and pick up my vehicle. All right, I'll meet you out on the interstate. Stop at Casey's right. on your way out. Sounds good, man. You mind if I drive your truck there? Uh, yeah, feel free. Perfect. So she drives, she's long. She's, uh, it, yeah, it's pretty long. And I, I almost hit the feds post that I've hit multiple times and had to repair multiple times. We have an AC built into it, a bunch of uh, luxury things that came along with it, but this is the way to do it. We bought the semi. It has 500,000 miles on it. I think we bought it for 15 or 16,000. Got it really cheap off a guy who's who was retiring. And then this camper was a salvage title. And so we got it really cheap as well. So all together, I think we're into it for like $30,000, which this is like $150,000, $100,000 setup we have going here. So I think we got a good deal. And uh, let's head out. Let's get camping. That was a that was a long drive, and I'm about out of diesel. I think we forgot to fill up on our way down, but I don't get too good at MPG in this behemoth right here, and it, it was pretty windy. It kind of felt like a kite. But Garrett's right behind me. We're gonna get pumping some fuel here. We'll get filled up. Might give myself a little sandwich inside or two. And here comes Garrett. Don't tip her, man. Oh, I won't. Don't worry. So that's Garrett Look set up. The bike is still on there. Don't worry, Garrett. It's still up there. Okay, perfect. I was worried about it. <laughs> but this thing is a beast. He has a winch in front, of course. I don't even know if you ever need a winch. He has crazy floating tires. I mean, the lighting, the racking, the snorkel. I mean, this is an off-road beast, and it's a 6x6. Six six, so it's not a 4x4. Four four. You can uh, you can really get out of sticky situations. And the, the cargo, there's like bench seats in the back. So you can... You can haul some people. Oh, yeah. This thing is pretty good. But, uh, hey, I personally prefer your vehicle since we just built it. That's true. I'll go get a sandwich. You need something inside, Garrett? 
Uh, can you give me a chocolate bar? Yeah, perfect. Go ahead and use use your credit card on my pump there. Just swipe Wait. your credit card. It'll be like three hundred dollar charge. Yep. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll do. Wait, three hundred. All right. Here's your sandwich. Perfect. Yeah. You get the receipt. Yeah. Wait. I didn't realize it was that expensive. Oh yeah, di diesel's like three bucks a gallon. Takes about a hundred gallons. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thanks, Garrett. I appreciate you f flipping the bill on that one. Well, we made it across the bridge. We're out of KST, and we we're in, we're officially in the campsite. Garrett, do you know where to go? Don't you practically live out here? Oh yeah, man. You should be able to take a left up ahead. All right. Ten four. Hanging a left. Right behind you, man. How's that thing driving? Yeah, it's um, I'm trying to keep my speed up. That way we don't get stuck. It's a little sloppy, but I uh, yeah, I haven't taken it off payment yet, and this is our first dirt road. All right, well there we go. Here's some mud. Here's some mud. Okay, get some speed. This uh, okay, we're scooting across. Keep the momentum up. Oh yeah. And do you want to camp? Ooh, this looks okay. Maybe this is the best spot. You gotta tell me exact. Okay, that we are not taking it right there. That is way too steep. Uh, we could camp. Honestly, this is some pretty nice. Yeah, we could camp right here. All right, this would work. Sure you don't want to try that big hill? No, 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 no. I don't want to try the big hill. I'll ride into your truck or take the dirt bike up it, but no, I'm not taking this behemoth up here, but let's go ahead and uh, kind of get things figured out, get get our, our base camp made, make sure there's no bears. All right, so you're sleeping in a tent tonight, right? No, I'm sleeping in the camper. You're sleeping in a tent. Oh, uh, okay, fine. Well, you're going to have you. to help You'll stink it up, up in man. there. Yeah, I'll help you set up your tent. No worries. We can... Uh, Nice spot in the shade here. It's kind of warm out, and then and then we'll take your your car out. We'll get some firewood and and we'll 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 party. Well, Garrett, while you're placing that tent down, I'm going to uh, good work, man. You got that you got that down pretty quick. I'm gonna I'll unload your your dirt bike for you. All right, man. Sounds good. There okay. it is. Okay. Yep. That's not really the best way to do it. Hey, you landed it pretty good. I think we will be. Yeah, this looks good, man. Yo, I think you banged up that front fender. Oh no, it's supposed to bend like that. It's a little bendy. All right, here we go. It's fired up. I like your bike, man. You mind if I ride it a bit? Man, go for it. Try that hill that you were so scared of. Oh, true, true, true. Why don't you get uh try and get some some dead wood going? But yeah, I'll go explore a little bit. Make sure there's nobody uh nobody around here. Doing a little side hilling, but I'll make my way. Okay, we got some pretty good air there. There's not really any good trails around here. I'm kind of creating my own, which is I guess those are fun. Oh, look at that view. But we'll come back down the hill or the mountain, whatever we're on. And uh, see what Garrett's working on. He should have some firewood going. Hopefully, I see some smoke when we come down here. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, yeah. There he is. All right. Let's pull in. Garrett, watch out. Hello. Hello. Okay, all right. I'm going to need your help with this wood. I found a tree just through the forest that's knocked down. So Perfect. Want to come with me? Yeah, yeah. You wanna, How are we going to carry it back? I was thinking we just load up on the roof here. Okay, we could, yeah, okay, it's pretty high, or we could just toss it in the uh, in the back here too. But yeah, we can always throw it on the roof. All right, fire up. Let's get out here. Let's get her done. All right, you look like you're ready to go. Get cutting, man. This is it. Yeah, this is a good dead tree. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There we go. How big of pieces should I cut? Do you uh, think? Pretty small. Pretty small. Nothing. I like to do, you know, two foot. Yeah, but three, three to three feet. Three feet is a good measure. What do you think about that one? Uh, right down the middle, and that'll be three. I think that'll be perfect there. All right, all right. Let me pull your car up here for you. Thank you. Things a behemoth. Oh, yeah, it is, man. Holy cow. Fun to drive. Yeah, taking out bushes. Let's throw these up here. Okay, I accidentally... I think I lifted too much weights. So I threw that one a little too far. All right, it's all strapped down. Why don't you go ahead? Yeah, we're so, we're so close. We we could have done it by hand, but this is this is a lot more fun. Looks cool too. Oh yeah. All right, you're gonna walk over. Yep. Go ahead, drive it down. We'll get the fire started. We gotta cook up some. I brought some steaks, some burgers, some brats. About the whole thing. Looks like he's already got tomato tomato soup out. I I don't. Garrett, you got hungry when I when I was out dirt hiking. Well, yeah, you were out for so long. I had a snack on something. You had a can of corn. Uh, what is that? Green beans and diced tomatoes. Nice. But yeah, let's unload this. We'll get the fire going and actually eat some real food. All right. Sounds good. I'm starving. All right. All of you catch them. All right. I'm terrible at throwing these. There we go. You're pretty bad at catching them too. Two at once. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I don't know. That one almost went on my head. All right. You got any lighter fluid? Oh, yeah, man. You ready? Yep. Go ahead. Get her started. All right. Stand back. All right. Throw a match in it. Here we go. And there it is. Check that out. Perfect. Maybe oh, pull yeah, your truck a little bit away. I don't want it to blow up or light a fire. Good idea. There's a lot of air in these tires. So yeah. Don't want one popping. All right. Well, your uh, your tent site looks pretty good. Let me get my camper leveled. I want to get it the sports down and exactly where I want it. I kind of want it close to yours. I think the most level ground looks to be about right here. 
There we go. I got the generator fired up, so it's cooling off for me. Did you look at these back seats? I think they switched out the sleeper part for some more seating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I told them to do that because we don't really need a sleeper anymore because we have a sleeper on the whole entire back half of it. Oh, yeah? yeah. You have a king-size bed, right? Pretty much. So, yeah, I said, you know, let, let's get more seats in there. There's no point in having a sleeper, but... Let's uh, we'll hang out here, Garrett. Tell some 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 scary stories and let's get cooking. Well, Garrett, the sun's down. How'd the steak turn out for you? Turned out pretty good. I probably could have had it on the grill for a little bit longer, but it tasted well. For sure, for sure. Let's. Uh, let's I'm I'm pretty tired, man. I'm gonna pack it up for the night, but hopefully, uh, hopefully the bugs don't get you. You've kind of had that tent open for a while. Maybe you, maybe you should close it. That's probably a good idea. There's gonna be a lot of bugs in here. Maybe but... a lot of bears too, because I don't know. Where we're gonna put our meat. Well, hey, man, if it gets too cold or something, I'll just come snuggle with you. Yep. Nope. That's uh, not allowed. You can uh, sit on the dirt bike or something. So. Ah, okay, fine. All right, man. Hey, have a good I'm night. I'm heading to bed. Yep. Have yep. a good one. Good night. Ooh, I slept good. Oh, good you morning, slept good? Man. Oh, yeah. I slept really good. How long have you been up for, dude? I just woke up. I, I went on a little hike this morning. It's been probably, I don't know, an hour. All right. You mind if I rip the old two-stroke here? Oh, yeah. Go for it, man. I thought you were going to ask that. Just going to wake up a little bit. There's nothing better than a little two smokes, a burning oil smell, and some wind in your hair. Oh, yeah. But don't drain it fully because you got to drive back. It's low on fuel. Oh, it's okay. It's low on fuel. That's good to know. But I think we're leaving here shortly this morning. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Let me know what you think of the semi camper conversion kit. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>